because you look at the two games that they played this year, right? I, I, I'm with you. I don't think anybody in the country unstoppable. So here we go. Except for winning the opening tip, Jonathan Mobo wins that. Them hard to Anton Watson. Malik Thomas, long two is good. First foul on either side, two minutes in. Watson will shoot the three left side, and it's good. Missed the three. Yeah, I think from San Francisco, you live with that three from Watson. If he makes that, it's going to be real tough. Ryan Nemar times on the post up. You and I see the Zags a lot. I don't know when the last time I saw EK miss two shots in a row on William Matic. For Gonzaga. Yeah, because I mean the Zags can shoot the three, but it's not a huge part of their offense. Thomas attacks, but then we need to fill out that split that student section up and move the <laughs> section over. Leaning out in the middle of the aisle. Again, no one's even there to tell you to get out of the aisle. There's no one next to you. Just move. Here's Watson has been very active for guard opposing guards. Ryan Beasley, freshman of the year in the WCC, missed the foul. San Francisco resets. They'll leave Newberry wide that. open, and he does. They need. Marcus Williams hits a three. Defensive staying attached, making sure they keep the ball handlers out of the way, and a good aggressive attack that time by Mobo. And then they, they do, they go to Kentucky, they beat Kentucky. There's one, they go to Chase Center, there's two. A lot of that credit goes to Mark Few and making some adjustments. And I think the biggest adjustment they made. They're fighting. <laughs> But I, I, I'll tell you this, one of the things that's that's really been important about this is San Francisco will smile. Yeah, EK's been unstoppable. He has had a quiet start. Mobo down low this time matched up against Watson. Spin move, Mobo, no. And a great confidence in his team. And it was like a dance party in here yesterday with 90s orange free throws. Out of the timeout, and he makes his second. Now Hill Zags have been in the championship game every single year. Last time somebody not named St. Mary's or Gonzaga won this event. Watson from the free throw line area. No. Rebound. Huff got up there, ripped it away. Finds Demhard. Three is good. So quick down the court. Whipped a pass into the corner. Now Huff. Baseline good. He's just this is where the Dons have to keep their head and their composure. They found Thomas open for three. That one's good. Watson, they're really sagging off him on the perimeter. Now EK he just kind of bullies his way in. Thanks to defend him one on one. Now Nemhart gets into the passing lane against Williams, who gets up and blocks. Now that experience, I think, starts to show a little bit as this season has come to a close. Nice move from Thomas. They're going to count the Lee Hard. Does not back down. High and nifty play by Nemhard. So the steal for Gonzaga. EK, they leave him wide open. He'll shoot the three. No. Newberry, wide open for three. And Mark Few, one in the country in points in the paint. Dave, they only have four so far here. They're trying to get two more, although EK was forced to the baseline. He's where the defensive player is and, and to roll away from coverage. How about the lob from Williams to Markovetsky? Who... Free throw good for Demhard. Well, we got you. You know, you and I love being here, though. And, and, and part of the reason is that. EK backing it in against Mobo. Graham EK. And no, this time it rolled away. Williams passed up the three. Tough little shot it goes. He too strong. Thomas flies in for the offensive board. Now Beasley's open for three. It's good. Yeah, that one was. He's tired right now, Beasley, but playing hard. Anton Watson now backing his way in. Watson just bullied. It's part of the reason why I think Mark Few was reluctant to make the change for a while in the start like tomorrow night. EK down Bring low. the double. Do not let this go one on one if you're San Francisco. It did. Hickman off the double team. Buries it through the court. Nemhard, no. But the rebound comes to Gonzaga. Stromer will shoot the three. It's good. Had it stolen away. Along the baseline, got lucky to find Thomas. His three is no good. EK with the screen. Nemhard from the elbow. Got it.
seconds. Shot of jumps. Cut off. Gave it up. Mobo got rid of it, and it goes. They count. Way. We asked Coach Gerlifson about that yesterday. And I said, what is going on to start saying? Because we deviate and we miss our goals of the game plan and how they want to execute. Yeah, Gerlifson was even a little reluctant. He was like, well, you know, I want to talk about it with my team. That's plant the seed again and make them think about it too much. Watson drives right to the bucket and lays it in. Shot of jumps. No good. Rattled out. Inbound play. They just dare Watson to shoot it. He does, and he missed it. Good rebound. Although he just short armed it a little bit. Here's Ben Gregg, top of the key. Three. Good. At six points in the first half. All of them from beyond the arc. They need his energy. Thomas, tough shot, and no. Free throw good for EK. Newberry's going to enter it down low. Bobo on the baseline. He'll shoot that shot. Good. EK sets the screen. Hickman runner. Good. Nolan Hickman coming to life. Coming off some screens and getting downhill to the floater game. I mean, he never comes out of the game. He basically plays every minute of every game now. Watson stripped it away. Mobile got it back. Hacks off the make. They'll run off a miss. They'll run off a make. Ryan Nebhard kicked it out to Greg. A three for him. Good. From beyond the arc. We saw the point disparity so far in the second half. Give that energy to the team because Beasley plays with a confidence about him. Carry a big part of the load. And then on this end, Zags have looked unstoppable. Nemhard three. Good. He is not feeling well and not on the bench right now. Newberry found Thomas. Baseline jumper is good. And you give you give free. Hickman to EK. EK was fouled from behind. He's in the best shape he's been in all season long. Down 10. Zags have the ball pushing tempo again. Greg trails three. Good. Rebound Gonzaga. Nemhard is going to try. They're going back to Greg again. They are. Three. Got it. Give themselves a shot. Shot clock winding down. That's the best they could do. Long rebound. Thomas gets the first. Quickly as possible. There's times where you want to talk to coach when you come off the court. There's other times you don't. This is hard. Whips that pass. Hickman. Huff. He'll shoot the three. Good. But he's got to be open. Hickman steals it right from Thomas. Here goes Hickman down the court. Good. San Francisco can't stop the avalanche. Thomas wide open three. Man, did they need that. Thomas will try this one. No. Newberry. Inbounds by the Dons. Ten and a half to go. Malik Thomas takes it all the way and draws the foul. Start the second half. 30 to 15. Yeah, that three-point shooting you were talking about. Seth. Some pressure from the Dons. And I'd say the Zags handle that pretty easily. Greg attacks on another bucket for Ben Greg. Skip all the way over to Beaker. His three. No. Thomas somehow didn't travel. Williams long range three. Good. Yeah, that's the main problem. Hickman bounces it to Watson. Re reverse looking for a call. Didn't get it. Here goes Thomas all the way. Thomas coast to coast. Greg finds Watson. Another baseline attack. Went for Whether it's Nemhard and the time that he spends off the floor with Graham E.K. and how they fostered the right position to be successful. Both free throws good for Watson. Hasn't been aggressive enough in hunting his shot. Skip pass. Robbie Beasley. That three is good. Eggs playing like this. E.K. goes to work against Mobo. Whipped it out to Hickman for an open three. Good! Brian Nemhard. They've, they've all made him. Mobo lays it in. Nifty little pass. Fuck it. That might be the best offense in the country. It has been since they made the change to the starting lineup. Yeah. It's a kick. Long to the basket with the left hand. Dave, I, 
This has been a story we've seen develop. Look at that pass. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Amazing. Uh, Hickman was like, what, what, how'd the ball even get to me? I, I don't think he was anticipating it. Beasley will try it again. Robbie B. Oh, taking care of his guys and building confidence. EK triple teamed, missed the shot. Watson was there for the putback. He's going to set the screen now and get the pass from his buddy Nemhard. Missed that one. Good defense from EK. Thomas against Watson. No. And the Zags. Yeah, whatever it is, it's got to be quick. Williams, free throw line. So that counts as quick. I think you know, Chris Gillis did a great job fouling early up in Spokane, and they should be doing that right now. EK with the exclamation point. Bobby Beasley has it. It's too bad his brother hasn't been able to play in the second half. Hopefully he's matchups here in Las Vegas. <laughs> Earns the second of the doubleheader. And then how about Lakers Kings? How about D'Angelo Russell? How well he's played. And then last 20 for 40 becomes difficult. Amazing runs to start both halves. All three games were so similar. Every starter, by the way, now in double figures for Gonzaga. Thomas with a foul. Away from the outside, they could beat anybody in the country. Anybody. Nimhoff's birthday was yesterday. He lit the candles for the WCC title. It's one of the great rivalries in all of college basketball, and we'll see it for a third time. And the Zags, 9 Eastern on ESPN for a tournament championship. St. Mary's got the regular season title. Now can